In today's video, we're talking about opening range breakouts. If you have a scalper's mentality, you like to day trade, and you wanna be in and out of the markets in five or 10 minutes, this video's for you. Okay, everybody, so I'm in the charts, I'm on AMD, and what I did was I went into the on-demand feature here for Thinkorswim, and it put me in the chart for AMD, and the date on this chart is August 31st. So this is the virtual trading platform within Thinkorswim, and I wanna show you exactly what an opening range breakout trade is. Now, you can trade opening range breakouts on the one minute, the two minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour chart, really whatever time frame you want to trade, I guess you could apply to this, but I will say the most common are the one, the five, and the 15. I sort of prefer the 15 minute, but I wanna show you a five minute breakout because five minutes, I would say is probably the most popular of all three of the time frames I just mentioned. So I brought up AMD, I brought up the five minute time frame here, you can see, and I put in a couple hundred shares, I've created a bracket order, and I wanna show you how this works. So this five minute candle right here, if I zoom in on this, you'll see that if I hover it, it has a range of $1.10. Now the high is 86.15 and the low is 85.05. So all that an opening range breakout means is that you take the range of this candle and then you decide what your bias is. Do I think it's gonna be a long play or do I think it's gonna be a short play? Short play meaning the price goes down to make money, long play meaning price goes up, I make money. So let's say you predict, you say, you know, I think this is gonna go long. I think that we're gonna go higher today. So you see the high is 86.15. So I can come over here and I can kind of create a trade and take a bracket order to 86.15. Now, if you don't know what a bracket order is, I'll leave a link down below. I've had two videos recently specifically addressing bracket orders, and it's really good because we get into risk to reward ratios. We talk about how to create a bracket order and how to enter them on the Thinkorswim platform. So right now, because the high of this candle is 86.15, I'm gonna choose to put an order in at 86.17. Actually, 86.16, one penny above the high. So I come over to the ladder here, and I can click this, and it'll bring the order up for me, and I can click Edit. And then I'm gonna come in here, and I'm actually just gonna leave it the way it is for right now. Um, you could make this a stop limit order, but I'm gonna keep it simple with a market order. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm and send this. So you can see that the order is out, and it is a bracket, and you can see that this is my entry right here to buy 200 shares, if the next candle breaks that, and we'll stop out if we drop below this low. And then I've got my take profit up here at one to one. So the risk to reward ratio on this trade is just one to one. I just wanna show you kinda of how this works. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play, and you can see right here, we're at 7.35 in the morning. We're in Mountain Standard Time. So what I'm hoping to see here is that this actually doesn't trigger until the next candle and hopefully it doesn't or that'll kind of screw up my example, but I'm hoping that on the open of the next five minute candle, we get a push higher and we'll get triggered into this opening range. So we're about to get to the next candle. There we go. All right, the next candle is opening. So now the opening range has been established. If this candle breaks this high, I wanna be in and then I'll have my target and my stop loss set. So let's go ahead and just see what this does. We'll see if we get triggered. And then what I can also do is speed the film up. So we're gonna keep watching this. Ooh, okay, so I sped it up a little bit and you can see what happened here is it dropped, popped, dropped. It hasn't broken that range yet. So I'm actually gonna go jump ahead another 10 minutes. We'll see where that puts us. It's a nice feature you can use using this button here, you can jump 10 minutes ahead. This really helps speed up back testing and looking at trades from historical data. So now you can see that we're starting to tighten up a little bit and move higher, but we haven't broken this level yet. So the opening range is still intact. So we'll keep watching this. Okay, so we've got the order and you can see I've fast forwarded it a little bit. We still have not breached that opening range. So we're still watching this to see if we can get this break. But this is a great demonstration because this is what happens. You set this order, you set up a bracket, and then you wait. You could leave this trade and come back later. It'll take care of itself because you have the order entry, you have this target, and you have a stop loss, hard stop loss in place. All right, let's see if this gets triggered. 
We're trading at 758. So this is popping up here, moving a little bit. Let's see if we get a break on this trade. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. Okay, so there it is. So that is an opening range breakout. You got it. That breakout above this opening range, this opening five minute range, put us in play. We're long 200 shares, and we've got a stop loss down here at the low of the range, and now we're gonna let this thing play out. So I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit and see if we can get this move and see what it's gonna do. But the idea being taking profit up at the top at our one to one. Now you could apply a 1.5 to one reward to risk ratio. You could do a two to one, a two and a half, a three to one, whatever fits your needs and your style of trading, you can implement here. So you can just keep watching this. Now with a larger range like this had, this could take a little more time to get to our target. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump ahead 10 minutes and I just wanna see what happens. All right, so we're now kind of pulling back a little bit, you can see. I'm gonna jump ahead another 10 minutes, 8.22 a.m., okay. Let's see how this plays out. Sometimes you'll notice some pre-buffering. It takes a little bit of time to get, some, sometimes to get caught up, but very easy to use, um, makes it super helpful. And once this gets live again, it should update for us. So here we are. So we're trading at 87.19. You can see we're up $190. Our 1R, being that we risked $200, $220, our 1R will be 220 because we bought 200 shares and our stop loss was $1.10. So let's see if we can get this thing to go. Let's fast forward a little bit. It starts to press up. I'll slow it down, but it looks like we might get a trigger here. And it looks like the feature is a little delayed. Okay, so there it goes. It pushed up, sold us out, and there we are. 1R, $220. So this is the, the power of the opening range breakout is you find that five minute range and then you either trade it to the upside or the downside depending on your bias. So I'm gonna turn off this on-demand feature now and I'm actually gonna go back to AMD and I'm gonna turn on the one minute chart and I'm just gonna show you what you can do with this out of the open on a one minute chart. So you can trade a one minute opening range break. So let's say this one minute candle, the range is 79 cents, you can see that right here. Now, if it drops below this, we get triggered in, which it did. Now, the stop loss is up here at the top, so we never got stopped out, and AMD continued to roll the downside. So hitting a one-to-one -one target on that would have probably worked out really nicely. Now, let's bump up, let's go to the two-minute chart. So it's the same type of thing. If I highlight this, you can see, here's the first two-minute candle. The range on that was $1.10. You can see we got a break below and then we sold off. We did not get stopped out because this is where our stop would be. Same thing if I go to a five minute chart. Let's see how that looks. Five minute chart, we've got our opening range candle here and you can have a high of 83.31 and a low of 82.21. So you'd go short at 82.20, take that to the short side, it continued to roll down, we did not get stopped out. And then the same thing obviously on the 15 minute. Now this is my preferred time frame, and the trade I'm gonna show you at the end of this video is actually gonna be on the 15 minute time frame. That's my favorite time frame to trade. You can see right here, there's that range, $1.62. We'd get short below a penny below that low and see how it plays out. I'm not sure if this one's gonna go one to one. I'm not sure how what the numbers are on that, but you can see the opening range can be super powerful. It's very simple to set up. You can use a bracket order, which makes it very nice and very safe to control your risk. You can decide and personalize it to yourself, whether you want to trade one to one, one and a half to one, two to one, whatever risk or reward to risk ratio you prefer, you can apply in this scenario. But that's all there is to this trading strategy. Now, if you want to decide how many shares to trade, you just take your risk level. So say you're risking $100, you got to decide what your stop loss is. Let's say your stop loss is $1. You wanna risk $100, you divide that by your stop loss, $1, that tells you to buy 100 shares. 50 cents, you divide $100 by 50 cents, you would buy 200 shares. Your stop loss and your risk unit determine how many shares to buy. And again, check out my videos, I'll link it below on how to determine your R value or your share size based on R value and stop loss. So I promise you a live trade, I'm gonna play that right now. 
This is a short position on AMD this morning on the 15 minute time frame. It's a quick hitter. What ended up happening on it was I actually tried to change the order at the last second and it didn't work. It, the order didn't get entered in time and it got rejected. So it actually honored my first order, not my edited second order. It created a lot of chaos and then ultimately it worked. But what happened was it went really, far, because I had the really good entry, my PL was up massively right away. And so I just flattened the position because I was above my 2R target. It happened very quickly. I honestly didn't know what was happening in the, in the moment because a bunch of dings went off, a bunch of orders got rejected, everything was crazy. And then I looked at my PL and saw I'm above my 2R target for the day. So I just flattened it and called it a day. So here's the video recap. I hope you enjoy. After the video, hit that thumbs up. We'll see you next time.